I'm Hugo Monnier, ex-England rugby player, and I brought my friend Jamie Lang with me to Japan to discover more about this amazing country and recce for the England team ahead of this autumn. Elliot Daly, Jamie George and Carl Sinker at Twickenham and they'll be watching it along with you. I'm here in Tokyo and I'm going to start my mission by exploring the values and we begin with respect. We're extremely privileged to start at the Sumo Stables and this is something that most people won't get to see as it's a very sacred private culture. There he is. I've invited my friend Jamie Lang, who some of you might know from Made in Chelsea, to join me. He is genuinely one of the biggest rugby fans that I know, but standard, he's running late. What are they doing there? That looks like some one of your forward sessions, to be fair. Absolutely insane. Massive, massive men. They're actually really agile, very technical, moving across like a short space very, very quickly. I think my hips would explode if I was that low all the time. Do not be fooled by their waist sizes. These are dangerous men. In the sport that I came from, it's all about controlled aggression, and that's exactly what these guys are doing. Right now, it's time to get involved. Oh my <laughs> God. I'd like him to take his top off as well. Still no sign of Jamie, though, but I'm very privileged to put on the traditional Moashi. He looks decent, yeah. Finally, you're here. Buddy, look, I'm sorry I'm late. Hey, you look amazing. Can I get one of those? Don't try and woo me with that. You're late. Anyway, let's just get straight into it. It's my first one. I'm exhausted. Oh my lord. Come on, Jamie. I reckon Uggs going to be good at this. Yeah, I reckon he will. He's, he's strong. He's freakishly strong. There you go. Look at him. Ooh. Strong. Yeah, yeah, he knows what's going <laughs> I wasn't going to let you have all the fun. Like, us Chelsea lads are pretty tough too. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you reckon he is? 70 kilos? If that. It's like a rag doll, isn't he? I think my rib's broken. I can't. He did alright. He didn't back away. He just got thrown I, I, away. If I'm honest, I'm actually pretty disappointed with him there. He was really impressed. Oh, oh really? He does feel scared. Yeah. Yeah. So you're really good at receiving. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jamie. 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 Come on, Probably one of mine, yeah. <laughs> he actually looks a lot better than I do in that <laughs> Now it's time to show the Grandmaster what we learned earlier and continue our journey learning about respect. We just finished training, uh, we freshened up a little bit. We're going to take this sumo wrestling game to another level. We're off to meet the Grandmaster, Masashi Maru Oyekata. He retired a few years ago at the peak of his power. There wasn't anyone greater in Japan. That's my kind of guy, man. Masashi Maru Sama. It's like the Godfather. Thank you. And you're a uh, Yokozuna, is that right? Yeah, I wrestled over a thousand fights. I got to the top at 22. You're now coaching and recruiting. Definitely so when you're looking at potential sumo wrestlers, what's the most important attribute you see in them? Is it I, talent, is it desire? No, I just see if you have the fight in him. Can I ask you, when I walked in here, did you see the fight in me? Behind the door, I'd seen it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was that all you got? I want you to hold me one piece. <laughs> He's massive, he's massive is he not? I still think you've got a bigger back, though. Yeah, 100%. I, 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 like you just said, I've got, I've got the fight in me, mate. <laughs> you, got, you, got, you got that desire. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever get nervous? Nervous, it comes with the game. That's if you're it. not nervous, then you're out. Go. I used to love those nerves. One, it shows you care, and the other thing, going back to Bushido Valley, which we've been talking about all day, it shows you respect to your opponent. Oh, oh, gorgeous. Look at that, look, he's doing all right. Oh my gosh. I always have respect for our opponent, too, before and after the fight. 
Yeah, good game, good game. You're a big rugby fan, is that right? Yeah, right, yeah, right rugby. So many similarities yeah. between sumo wrestling and rugby. The body shapes and the way in which they collide right from the start, it almost looked like an old school scrum. Whoever comes out hard, faster, is about 90% is the guy's gonna win. It's a lot, good thing. This is bucket list experience. It's unbelievable. To not only listen to the Grandmaster, to be able to learn some of the techniques, but to step into a sumo ring and actually do it is just, it's a dream. Ugo was too high. Apart from that, he's good, he had a good fight in him. I yeah, that back needs to be flat. We, sh we should be able to eat our dinners off that. <laughs> <laughs> Gabin is absolutely massive in Asia and hugely respected in Japanese culture. Unlike at home, where it could be perceived to be a bit geeky. I would be so bad at that. Yeah. I'd be awful. You know, I'd be great. No, I don't think you I would. I wouldn't. I definitely would. I've never been intimidated by watching someone die. But how does he do that with his legs? I don't know. What? That is out of this world. I'm James going to come to the living room. Yeah, yeah. I've given Jamie a lot of heat. I only need to give him a chance here. Three, two, one. Now, all right. Depending on accuracy, the highest score. Oh! Oh, look here! Ugo looks terrible. Look. <laughs> oh, I win! I win! Off it! I won! I won! There's no way you won! I won, won it, man! Who won? Who won? Who won? Who won? Who won? Yes! Ugo! Ha <laughs> ha, the running man. <laughs> Toss it up! Go! Jamie let himself down in the sumo wrestling, but clearly that's that's you know that's, that's his game. Spurred him on. He had been in many Chelsea nightclubs. He knows Why? his way around a dance floor. You did, this whole thing is about respect, right? And now, yeah, yeah, now yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. show me the respect that I deserve, man. Because there you are, sir. I want it, buddy. You certainly did. Sumo this morning, mm -hmm. dancing in the arcades this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Now we're going to something which is actually fairly spiritual. We're going to meet a modern-day samurai. It's one of the longest traditions in Japan. It's incredible. They don't really exist anymore. But we're off to meet this lady and understand exactly what that's about. For me, rugby is all about controlled aggression. And this lady is going to bring beauty to something which is incredibly dangerous. The sword is not for fight, not for attack, not for killing. Oh. This is for prey and create new things, create new world. Japanese ancient story. The start is making country with the sword. How are you? Hi. Hi. Jamie, nice to meet you. How are you? How are you? I'm Hugo. You're Lovely good. to meet you. So wait, she's a samurai? Yeah, modern day samurai. Jamie, nice to meet you. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much for what we just witnessed out there. That was, oh, thank you. That was unbelievable. When I was a child, mm. I was always dream of becoming a samurai. The Bushido is not for physical. It's important is the mind. To our knowledge, there's five Bushido values. Mm -hmm. And the one thing which I've learned today oh, okay. watching you yeah. is just ultimate respect. And that's very much related to the world that I used to come from, which is the rugby world. The respect that we have for teammates, mm -hmm. respect that we have for officials, respect that we have for others, is at the nucleus of everything we're about. It's nice to see that shared with the Bushido values also. Bushido value is respect the others, respect yourself, and to be honest, and keep moving. Go ahead. Wow. That is I'm going to retire, I want to be a samurai. But I thought you wanted to be Big Daddy first. You, you can't be yeah. both. Amazing first day. As first days go, that's pretty incredible. What I loved about the similarities between the sumo wrestlers and rugby is that it really is a sport for all. 
Just looking at some of the little fellas, I thought, oh my word, he's going to get absolutely tuned. Honestly, you can't really cooler than the little fellas. What am I? I'm a borrower. <laughs> what point am I in this world? Borrower. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's relative. We've seen a few different varieties of Japanese culture and respect has been at the heart of it. I cannot wait to see what the rest of the trip has got in store for us. Come on, buddy, let's have a snuggle. Obviously, there's quite a, a serious rugby competition going on, but I'm also quite, yeah, quite excited serious. to explore Japan mm -hmm. and the culture. Yeah, I just want to get out there and, and see what toys. happens. Yeah, massively excited. In the next episode, Kanbai! we leave Tokyo and head to Yokohama Unbelievable footwork. to find out more about the Bushido value of integrity.